What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing a Loot Crate. Let's get right into this. So one thing that Loot Crate has been doing for a while, it's just I haven't redeemed it until now, is a gaming welcome crate. So in this box, I don't know anything that is in it, any of the themes, other than it's gaming related items. Now the other thing I want to mention is this box is $26 Canadian, and since I ordered it with a Loot Crate DX, it didn't cost me anything extra to ship it to me here in Canada, which was a great deal, which is why I decided to get it. The one thing I will say with receiving this box is it actually doesn't say Loot Crate anywhere on it anymore. So at first I didn't even realize this was a Loot Crate, but we're gonna open it up, see what's inside. Hopefully there's a shirt and other items, but because it is a welcome crate, it's $26. So I don't know if it's gonna be a lot of stuff like a regular crate, which is usually four to five items, or if it's gonna be less than that, I'm not 100% sure what is in these. We're gonna check it out today and have a first look right now. So we're just gonna get right into it here. The first thing right on top is a Magic of the Gathering. Uh, it looks like a code on the back here. I don't know 100% what I'm gonna do with the code. I don't play this game. Uh, so I might use it as a giveaway or I might just put it in the comments down below or in the description down below and the first person to redeem it gets it just because this isn't of interest to me. I don't play this game, but I know a lot of people do. So it's for to unlock three core set 2019 packs for this game. So that could be cool for somebody, but for me, not really of interest, but it is a cool item. The next item, I'm going to actually save the shirts until last, as is usually my favorite item in any subscription box, is the shirt. It looks pretty cool, but I'll check it out in depth later on in this video. The next item is going to be a Loot Crate pin. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this is, if I can let it focus here. Uh, it looks like two bracelets, possibly Bowser, not 100% sure, can't really tell. And of course it doesn't say anything on it uh, other than it's a loot gaming collectible pin. So it doesn't really tell you what uh, gaming franchise it's from. The next item is something that is personally not of interest to me, but it might be really cool to display for somebody. And that is a Dungeons and Dragon Castle Dice Tower. And I'm actually going to open this up and take a closer look. Um, it does say it's a collectible, so I'm not sure if there's an actual purpose for it, uh, other than it being a collectible. So that looks pretty neat. I'm going to actually take it out here because the, uh, the plastic, it's too much of a glare. That is really cool. It says Dungeons and Dragons right there. Uh, this is a nice plastic. It is kind of heavy, has a little bit of weight to it. Um, and it has a lot of detail with the dragon and the castle all of the uh, stone wall of the castle, it's all detailed, which is really, really cool. Now again, I'm not interested in Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, I could see somebody, if they were to receive this and they like it, they probably would display it. And it actually looks like there's a function for it in the uh, castles here and even in the center, you can drop a die and it rolls it for you. So that's actually really cool for somebody that would play the game. It is a uh, functioning piece as well as a collectible display piece, which is really cool. So not of interest to me, not something that I personally would collect, but it is a cool item. The next item is a tumbler, and that gave it away because there's a straw loose in the bag, or in the box here. And we're just gonna open it up. Now tumblers aren't something that I usually see in loot crates. Usually they're the ones from the Walmart's uh, mystery boxes that show everything that's inside. This is actually really cool. This is not something that's gonna be for me. This is something that's gonna be for my girlfriend because I don't play this game, but she does. She absolutely loves it. And that is an Animal Crossing. It looks like the uh, little dog that plays concerts. She absolutely loves Animal Crossing. I think she's absolutely going to love it. It has little apples, leaves, uh, little houses all around it here. And of course it has the dogs. So that is really cool. I think she's absolutely going to love it. For me personally, I don't play Animal Crossing, but I know she's going to absolutely love this. I'm not sure if she'll display it or actually use it as a cup. So now for the item that I personally have been waiting for, the t-shirts. Now, I already seen that it says that it is 
Fallout on it, and you, if you guys know me, I absolutely love Fallout. I've received stuff from Loot Crate before that was Fallout related. For my Tee Public store, I did have a few Fallout designs, and I still have those shirts to this day. It's just I don't play Fallout as much as I used to, which I really want to get back into. But this shirt here, I'm not sure what the design is. It's this nice little pink design here. We're just going to take a closer look here. That is really cool. That is a Deathclaw, which I absolutely like Deathclaw. Um, it is one of the most notorious, badass creatures within the wasteland. That is really cool. I like the green and the pink. It doesn't really say anything uh, in the pink, I don't think. Oh, actually it does. It, does. it says Deathclaw, but it's really, really hard to read with the font they chose. Um, but it does say Deathclaw. And it has the death claw here in the green, which is really cool. Now, like normal, the Loot Crate shirts or any subscription shirts, it's usually a black shirt, which after a while, especially somebody who has animals, cats, dogs, uh, the black shirts usually are always full of hairs, which is one thing that I absolutely hate. But this looks like a shirt that I will absolutely love. I'm going to go ahead and try it on right now. So here we are. The shirt does fit like normal with the Loot Crate shirts. Uh, it is really soft and really, really comfortable. I absolutely love the Loot Crate shirts for their quality alone. Even from years ago, three, four years ago, whenever I first started getting uh, Loot Crate boxes, I still have those shirts to this day. They're still in perfect condition, even though I've washed them a ton of times. So the shirts do last a long time. It's really soft. It's not the heavy shirts that some subscription boxes have and it's really, really comfortable. Now the one thing with sometimes subscription boxes is the print is usually really thick and it does usually bother me. This here is, even though it is a kind of thick print, it's really soft and it doesn't really feel like it's even there. So it is really cool. I'm just gonna show you guys the design a little close up. That is the design. It looks really nice. I do like it. It's hard to read Deathclaw, but it, you can tell if you're into fallouts that that is a death claw. So that is really cool. I absolutely love this shirt. And that's the one thing with Loot Crate is as long as you order the right size of shirt for you, it's going to fit beautifully no matter what the design is on the shirt. So this is a huge thumbs up for Loot Crates. The last Loot Crate that I purchased it had a Venom shirt and a bunch of other stuff, but it honestly was a lot of low quality items. I didn't enjoy it. I decided to go with the Loot Crate DX and throw this on top just because this was something that was of interest to me. It only cost me $26, no extra shipping. So I decided to get it and I got a great shirt out of it, something that I know I am going to wear. My girlfriend got a tumbler, which I think she's going to be excited for. Yes, we got a Dungeons and Dragons item, which is not of interest to me, but I'll decide either I'll throw it on my eBay store or I'll use it as a giveaway on the channel. That is something that is quite possible to do. And the same goes for the Magic of the Gathering Arena item that we received, the code. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the description down below or in the comments or if I'm going to use it as a giveaway on the channel. It depends on how many people are interested. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I know myself personally, I'm not going to use it. So if somebody out there can use it and will enjoy it, I might as well just give it away. I felt like this was a great box, but normally if you get a gaming crate, it is a little bit more pricey. It's just, it's a welcome crate. So you only get to redeem one of these during your time with Loot Crate, and that's why I decided to redeem it now. I think I had this offer for possibly over a year, and I don't know when they started doing these. So I decided to finally get the gaming welcome crates, and I'm glad I did, because it's a nice shirt. At least it is something that is of interest to me, a theme, follow, absolutely love, and I got an item for my girlfriend as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to go and check out Loot Crate, go ahead. If you have not redeemed the gaming welcome crates, I recommend doing so because it doesn't cost too much, and you do get some great items, and you do get a number of items like you do in regular Loot Crate boxes. I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.